More than 8,600 businesses and individuals have applied for temporary relief from their contractual obligations since last April. Two in three cases involve higher purchase agreements for commercial equipment or vehicles and leases or licenses of non-residential property. The measure falls under the COVID-19 Temporary Measures Act. It is one of many aimed at helping Singapore tide through the pandemic. Another scheme known as the Rental Relief Framework saw around 117,000 notices of cash grant issued to property owners with eligible tenants since last July. The amount dispersed by the government came up to about $950 million. Another measure known as the Realign Framework allows badly hit small and micro businesses to renegotiate some types of contracts. Over 490 notices of negotiation were served online between the start date in mid-January and its deadline last Friday. In Parliament today, MP Murali Pillay asked if Singapore should have a framework a legislation that can be employed swiftly in the next crisis. But the law ministry says this may not be practical. The next one may well differ in scope and scale. We did not, for example, intervene in previous cases, for example, in SARS in 2003. And so we must be careful and circumspect before intervening in private arrangements. A framework legislation, whilst well-intentioned, might not be sufficiently nuanced itself and targeted to meet the unique challenges of the next crisis.